I've been a broadcaster in Charleston for over 30 years. Charleston is a bright and vibrant city. And with so many great places to eat, it's hard to know where to begin. I like to travel and cruise, but mostly I love our local cuisine. So come with me on a Charleston culinary adventure. This is Local Charleston. This is it. This is number one. Number one on all the list. Number one on TripAdvisor. Number one on Yelp. Number one on Charleston City Paper. It's the number one restaurant in Charleston. Hall's Chop House. And we're going to go have some lunch. Come on in. As we walk into the restaurant, we are greeted by Billy Hall, one of the owners of the establishment, making sure everybody's being taken care of. In 2009, Hall's opened its doors and quickly rose to the meteoric top of the Charleston food chain. The restaurant operates under the slogan, Service Before Self, and this is very evident. Hall's has five different locations, Charleston, Columbia, Greenville, Nexton, and Nashville, but this is where it all began. This is a place where you definitely want a reservation. We got there at 11 in the morning, and by the time we left at noon, the place was packed. One of the first things I'll ask you when you walk in the door is, are you having a special event? That's because many locals like to come here for special occasions, birthdays, anniversaries. They want to treat you right. If you're enjoying this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Subscribing costs you nothing and it really helps to grow the channel. And we put out one of these once a week, so you'll be sure to get the next one. This drink is called the 434, pineapple infused orange vodka, shaken and served in a frosty martini glass. It was very refreshing with a clean taste and just a little bit of tartness and it packed quite a kick. Here we have the barreled aged Manhattan, bourbon, sweet vermouth and bitters aged for 30 days in charred American oak. They make sure you get plenty of cherries. Fine dining experiences are always better with a basket of fresh hot bread. Of course, to top off that bread, you need this soft whipped butter. It was so easy to spread. The bread is the perfect consistency. Crunchy on the outside, soft and warm on the inside. A great way to start your meal. Many of the locals say this is the best French onion soup they have ever had. Look at those crispy onions on the top. And the way that cheese is melting, you know that's going to be some ooey goodness. What makes a good French onion soup is balance. They have the perfect amount of cheese, bread, onion soup, and onions to make you the perfect flavor. Delicious. For my wife's starter, she got the Simple Greens Salad, Field Greens Goat Cheese, Spiced Pecans, and Sherry Honey Vinaigrette. The spice pecans provided a really great flavor and textural component. For my wife's main dish, she got the Hall's steak sandwich. Onions, mushrooms, gruyere, horseradish, blue cheese, aioli, baguette, parmesan truffle fries. Look at the cook on that steak, it's perfect. And look at the amount of meat they give you, that's amazing. And the ooey gooey cheese, my wife says this is one of the best steak sandwiches she ever had. I got the six ounce club steak, which is commonly referred to as a Delmonico steak with truffle fries. Hall serves only the finest USDA prime steaks. The Parmesan truffle fries really go well with the steak. And look at all those herbs on there. And now for the moment of truth. This steak is cooked perfectly. Look at how delicious it is. They offered me a steak sauce with it, but I never touched it. This steak was seasoned perfectly. So the number one restaurant in Charleston is a steakhouse, but looking at this video, they've earned it. Best steaks, best service, best restaurant in Charleston. 
press the thumbs up to like, hit the subscribe button to subscribe, and hit the bell to receive notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.